What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry, where we discuss software engineering by example. And this is our rambling series. We pick a topic and we, we continue discussing about it. We just talk about it in a, in a nutshell. So uh, today's topic I'd like to pick is, um, is coding easy? Right, so let's talk about that. So a lot you you'll you, you'll hear this a lot. Oh, you can solve this problem very easily, right? You can easily solve this if you do this, right? But how true is this, right? So you might be experienced programmer, you know the languages that you need, you need you know the databases, you know everything, but dismissing a problem no matter how small you think it is, is not a good behavior for a software engineer, in my opinion, right? So you can say, you can safely say, a problem is simple, but not easy. Simple in a way that, okay, the design is elegant and simple, but if you think about it, nothing is really easy, right? So you have always to work hard to it because I find if, if you say something, oh, programming is easy, programming is coding, or well, programmers are dime a dozen, I hate this, right? It's just like, it is, it is very dismissive to, to coders and programmers in general. And I, and I, and I'd like to talk about this today. So I find that a lot of people say that, uh, and it dis encourages other people from pursuing programming or coding because of this right because okay if you say oh python is easy or c sharp is easy or javascript is easy or, or whatever right or or oh you can build facebook facebook is easy i mean i've heard this so much so many times and it just baffles me right Oh, how did Facebook became famous? It's just a, or how did Instagram became famous? It's just like photo sharing app. I could have built this in a weekend. Of course you could have, but you didn't, right? The, the main thing is, if you, if you say something is easy, right? And other people try to attempt it, or you, even you try to attempt it, and you take longer than that, People get discouraged, right? So if, if I am, if I want to learn Go, for example, as a programming language, and people say, oh, Go is easy. And I find difficult, I find, I find like some challenges in the way. I would say, oh, people find it easy. Something might be wrong with me, right? But that's not the case, right? So that's, that's one, one aspect of things. The other aspect is, is really the fact that any problem could be simple, but you can always argue that it's never easy. So what's the difference between the two? So in my opinion, if you say something is simple, usually it's you can you can think about it in your head, right? You you can you can visualize a solution, a simple solution, but is it easy to implement? That might not be the case, right? <laughs> because let's take an example. Let's take an Instagram profile, right? So how would you design any profile really, not necessarily Instagram, Facebook profile? So if I go to a certain page, I want to view the user profile, right? How do you do that? How would you do it's a, it's a simple design, right? There, there must be a table at the back end. And if you think about that, there must be an API at the, f not front end, but opposing the database, pulling from that. And upon request, you would return that payload to the user. So you would take that payload that comes back from the wrist endpoint or any endpoint really the service 
and then you would basically display it on your iOS app, Android, Blackberry if you're still using these things, or the web app, right? So it, it looks simple. It is, it is in fact simple, it, because it, if it's simple, you can actually explain it in, a, in 3, 30 seconds. That's a simple thing, right? Uh, so, so E equal MC square is simple. Is it easy? Hell no, it's not easy, right? But it's a simple, right? It's a very simple uh, equation. It's the same thing here. The profile displays are very simple. Is it easy though? <laughs> no way, right? Because if you, if it was easy, everybody would have done, right? And you can attempt to do it, the profile, viewing a profile. So why is it not easy? Right. The reason is, if you think about it, just, just take a minute to think about what, it's not about just serving that profile, right? There is performance issues that you need to deal with. What schema? What is the database at the back? Let's start all the way back. The disk, right? Are you going to use a SSD disk or a physical disks, right? Rotary, rotary disks. So that's just depends, right? If I'm using SSDs or faster reads, right? Versus the other type of disk, and then go up level, the DBMS itself. Should I use a relational database or should I use a NoSQL database? And obviously there is advantages and disadvantages of both, right? So if you if you pick one of them, right, then, then you start <laughs> The oldest things are all the decisions that start trickling up and down. And you have to start making all these decisions. And uh, one of them is uh, basically a uh, schema. Now, do you need a schema, right? Profile. You have to think about it. Uh, will my profile evolve with time? Or right, oh, it's always going to be this size, right? The bio, if a, if a user has a bio, why do you think social media has like a very compact bio it's like you cannot exceed like 150 character or whatever sometimes like reaches 500 or sometimes thousand but they put these numbers for a reason right not because it's just like i know let's just do 500 now it's always thought about it there is a database optimization that they thought about it okay if i put 120 because i wanted to be this way i can cache it easily I can index it easily. I don't want it to go like too far. Maybe storage problems. Probably not that, but uh, it's just like efficiency and caching. And you go up a level to the to the indexes of the database. It's like if a, if a user want to search about this, what will the user provide as an information here? Will he provide an index? Like a profile ID, if you search by profile ID, if the API is a profile ID, then I'm gonna need a profile ID. Are we gonna search by profile name or the username? Probably, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do that sometimes. So I need an index, a database index. Okay, how many indexes should I add, right? So should I add index everywhere, right? So that all these questions. And also, remember, we're still at the database level. Let's go up a level. The, the, the actual API. Right, so let's say slash user slash ID, right? Slash five, if I'm user ID five. And then, okay, do we return everything? Right. Maybe, like a developer might say, select star from blah, and then return it. Okay, how, how is, is that good? Should we, should we continue doing that? Or uh, should we optimize that? What, what's the ramification? Of doing that <laughs> there is obviously a ramification of any decision you make and then think about the actual payload that will return okay first select star is the worst thing you can do to a database it's just insulting to a database don't don't do a select star if you unless you really need everything do it because you really underestimating the work that DBMS has to do to get a select star. It's very expensive, guys. Select star is the worst. Don't do it, right? 
because yeah, selecting a column is okay, but can, can you imagine like if you have a table with 50 columns and, and the columns has blobs and, and strings and, and fat things, you're returning this and imagine you're just using the ID or name. That's, that. yeah, as a programmer, you never notice these things, but you have to be empathetic. I like to use the word, always be empathetic of a database, DBA, and the software engineer, and the back-end engineer, and the front-end engineer, and everybody, is user experience. Think about everybody. Always be empathetic, right, of, of all these pieces together, right? And then start thinking about now, okay, select start. Let's say I only need two things. Or if you do select start, then in fact, not only you're overloading the database, there's another level there, which is the, uh, the REST endpoint, right? You're returning all this garbage right and this garbage has to be serialized deserialized right if the sql then have to be converted into json if you're going to use json or protocol buffer or xml if you're into this kinky things still right so you'll you'll return that payload and then the client receiving in javascript swift ios java android has to read this thing and says, oh, whoa, what is that? Oh, it's XML. Okay, let me deserialize this. Is it serious? No, it's actually deserialized. We deserialize that XML, that JSON, that block of bur call buffer into something else, which is the native format in the client itself. And then the client will do, okay, I have now beautiful objects in my word. I'm going to display it on the map. I keep saying map. I'm going to display it on the screen. I'm a, I'm a GIS background, so I, I will say map. All right, so yeah. So coding is not easy. A problem could be simple. Coding is never easy. You have to think about it. Be empathetic. Think about the problem. Think the problem. Work the problem. And then love your work. All right, guys, go there and write more and more software, write better software. See you in the next one.